You understand? You know what I mean? So there's a whole bunch of stuff that you got to and shut that down and put it in perspective. And Barack Obama is just another man. You understand? The people idolize the basketball players. Mike, everybody wants to be like Mike. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, you remember that, right? Yeah. Everybody want to be like Mike. Who's Mike for the man? Well, he's just a man. That's it, man. See, so he's Obama. He's just a just man. Just a man. A wicked man, too, at that. A wicked man, Rob. Sure he is. For sure, you don't live up. You ever lift up Christ? Talk about Christ? Barack Obama? You ever hear Barack Obama lift up Christ? All the time he get up on the stage to make everybody hear him speak, you never say anything about the Lord lift him up. Yeah. Really? When? You don't think he has? I don't know. He talked about America, the saving of America, the people in America. He never talked about Christ. And Christ is coming to him. He didn't say Christ is coming to America, did he? He said, we're going to save America. Read that. That's what he said. Check yes, we can. <laughs> That's what he said. Yes, yes we can. So, 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 Obama. What nationality is Obama? He's not an Israelite. Say. He's not an Israelite. You need to know that. He's a Gentile. He got to join in like you had to join in. He got to leave all the idolatry that he's dealing with. He got to leave all the police finish what you part here. Obama's a Kenyan. Yeah. His father's Ken right, Kenyan. Kenyan. Right, he's right, a Kenyan. Right, right. He's not an Israelite. Right. right. Show what you got. His father was. Yeah. Where's your father from? My father's from Italy. From Italy. So, give me an Acts 10 and 1. Your father's from Italy. Let me show you a righteous Italian. But he changed over. He can't change his nationality. He sure could change, change over to Protestant. He's an Italian. He's still He's an Italian. Italian. But he changed over to a uh, to born again Christian because my mother was Swedish. She was Protestant. And he felt that he, that he should change over to Protestant because he wanted to be a born again Christian. And he felt that. The, the, Listen to me. That, Listen to me. That, 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 that That's his, all right. That That's his, his, his religion. Well, it's not right. That's all right. You're missing me. I'm talking about his nationality, his lineage. Uh, He's an Italian. Read that. 10 and 1. Acts 10 and 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a right. centurion of the band called the Italian band. This brother here was a centurion, a guard called the Italian band. He sent to, he led, you know, he led the band for the Roman army. He led the band. He was, but this brother here, was an Italian like your father, like you, right? You know, a devout man. A devout man, check this out. The one that feared the most son with all his house. He feared the Heavenly Father with all his house. He wanted his children, they all feared the Father. Not like a lot of the Italians in Italy today, who don't care two cents about the most you understand? But this brother here, this brother here, Cornelius, he feared the Heavenly Father. Now you got a whole bunch of simple Israelites out there gonna say that this guy was an Israelite. He's an Italian, just like you. We do a devout man. One that feared the Most High with all his house, right? Which gave much arms to the people and prayed to the Most High all way. He gave much arms to the people. Who are the people? The Israelites, the Jews. You with us, Rob? Jews. He gave much arms to the people. You understand? I hear you, bro. This is Cornelius and Italian. Show them what you got here. Let me give you this, man, before you anybody take that off. Anybody just told me that, Ray? Anybody else have it? That's what I'm talking Right. Here, I'm going to let you go right now. Let me give you the scripture and let you go. Uh, Hold up. Give me the scripture let me go. Yeah, so give me the scripture and let me go. Because right. I'm going to come back and talk to you. My man. Give me the Lord. Lord. Give me the scripture. Right. Acts 15, 19. Wherefore my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to the Most High. So we don't want to trouble you or anybody that comes to the Heavenly Father and want to get into the righteousness of the Most High. We are not going to trouble you. But, read it. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols. Stay, stay, stay away from pollution of idols. Kill all this Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's, all these American holidays. Kill that. Kill that in your life. Kill that in your household, Rob. You understand? Pollutions of idols. Don't idolize no man. Leave that. Honor the Lord's Sabbath day. Read it. And from fornication. And from fornication. Don't be a fornicator, man. You understand? Don't run around playing no more. Don't be a spiritual fornicator either. And from things strangled, and from blood. And from things strangled, and from blood. For most of all time hath in every city them which preach it, being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. So now don't eat no blood stuff either, man. You got to check that out. I'm going to come back <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you, Rob. Yeah. Rob, there you go, Rob. Check this out. Thanks, fellow man. Leave it to talk to you. All right, take care, man.
<laughs> How you like that? <laughs> the stallion. <laughs> Everything I got to say about that. I don't want to do you. But not like GMS. Nah, you can't get saved. You evil. You wicked. <laughs> get out of here. You can't get saved. You're done. I got scriptures here for the Gentiles, man. You understand? Gentiles come and want some juice. Hit them with the Gentile scriptures. How about that? Show what you got. I'll be at Galatians. Galatians 2, verse 5. To whom we gave place by subjection. No, not for an hour. That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. That the truth of the Heavenly Father should continue with the Israelites. It's supposed to. Come on. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it make it no matter to me. Those cats who seem to be somewhat, that don't matter to us. We can tell you about this all the way through. It don't matter. Who you brother seem to be supposed to be some kind of reputation. If you don't have this word right, we don't have nothing for you, man. And you don't fill us up. You don't have nothing to our zone. You get nothing to us, man. You don't pump us up in any shape, form, or fashion. Matter of fact, yes, then you expose yourselves to be the liars that you are. Show what you got out. Huh? Yeah. Three and one. Run it down. Hold Galatians, three and one. O oh, foolish Galatians, yeah. who have bewitched you, and you should not obey the truth. Yeah, who bewitched you, man? Who be with you, brothers and sisters, on YouTube, man? Who be with you joking in New Haven, Connecticut, here, and tell you you shouldn't obey the truth? Who told you you gonna get away, living your life, being a liar and a thief and a whore? Who tell you that that stuff gonna make you survive? Lord, gonna burn America with fire and brimstone and everybody in it who don't agree with him. Check that out. Read all that. Before whose eyes, which is how we shine Christ has been evidently set forth crucified among you, right? You know, I mean, this is outrageous. Everybody reads the Bible. Everybody confess the Bible. Everybody confess America. They say, God, we trust. But they don't follow the Bible. So you bring out a piece of the Bible and say, no, not that part. Not that part. Not that part. Christ. The story of Christ is evident, man. It's evident. Read on, brother. Galatians 3 and 2. This only what I learned of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the Lord, or by the hearing of faith. Yeah, how do you get the Spirit? How are you gonna get the Spirit to come down upon you? Are you gonna follow the law? Or are you gonna work through faith? Because faith is dead without works, man. You understand? You're not going to walk through, bro. Sorry, man. Keep the sidewalk. Understand? Faith is dead without works. The Lord don't care about nobody talking about I believe, I believe, I believe, but they do nothing. But they don't change their lives. They don't work according to this Bible. The Lord got tricks for them, man. Fire and brimstone. Check this out. Galatians 3 and 3. Right? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, 